Hello fellow vapors and welcome to the Devil Vapor Vape Reviews. Today we are reviewing the Horizon Tech Falcon Sub Ohm Tank. Kind of supplied by the lovely people at Hip Hop Juice. Now this is a 25mm diameter sub ohm tank. Replacement coil obviously um, and it does have a 5ml capacity. You can also buy a bubble glass separately if you do so wish. So what we're going to do today is take this fantastic tank. Um, I'm going to let it out already. This tank's bloody fantastic. Um, absolutely love the flavour. Um, but yeah what we're going to do today is take this down to the table. We're going to have an unboxing show. We get all inside the little tub here which is this thing. Then we're going to set the tank up, show you around the two different coils because you've got like a mesh coil and a standard coil in there. We'll show you around them. Then we're going to bring it up top, take it for a two, and then we're going to give our overall thoughts and opinions on it. So right, I will see you down at the table with the Horizon Tech Falcon. Right, so let's have a look around the packaging. You do have this lovely plasticky kind of receptacle thing that it is kept in. Obviously, you've got the tank up top. You've got Horizon Tech Falcon. Um, down the bottom here you've got your package contents there um, for decent flavor please soak a new coil for 10 minutes and you've got five milliliter there on the back there you have what is included so I've got the wood pulp cotton 0.2 ohm coil and I've also got the that's the F1 coil I've also got the M1 mesh coil um, which is wood pulp and cotton 0.15 plus or minus 0.03 70 plus or minus 10 watts recommended constant peak flavor high heat resistance long lifespan and I can tell you what the lifespan in this is bloody long indeed so let's get into the packaging and show you what you get you obviously get the falcon tank here let's get that in a bit better focus for you this is the falcon tank for your face balls I've got it in black you can get it in green, red, blue, silver, or a stainless steel, black, and rainbow. And you do get this lovely, like, marbled drip tip on top, like a resin marbled drip tip. Uh, we'll go through that in a bit big, better detail in a second. So in the bottom here is where all your gubbins are held. So you just pop this off. Absolutely simple. You have your spare coil in here. This is the M, whatever, the F1 or the M1. The F1, the F1 coil, which is just a standard coil. It isn't any mesh or anything like that. It's just your standard coil down the middle there. A little bit of a separator. Then you've got your spare glass, spare O-rings, and a spare drip tip as well. A nice standard drip tip. Absolutely lovely. So no complaints with the extras that you get in here. You know, um, it's good to have spare drip tips, etc. Plonk them back down there. We'll keep the coil out for later if we want to have a look at it. la -de da Now let's look at the tank and break it down into its component parts more or less. So the drip tip is your 510 sized drip tip. So you can fit whatever 510 drip tip you wish on there. Now to undo this, um, it does have some nice knurling on there. You've got Falcon, Horizon Tech, just grip and twist. And then that exposes the two lovely large kidney holes there for your filling pleasure. Um, and obviously this does take 5 millilitres of e-liquid. Running our way down to the bottom of the tank, we have the airflow slots. And you have one, two, three of them. Three lovely airflow slots and you can control them. Open and closed, open and closed. Very, very smooth airflow. It just locks at either end. Um, absolutely fine it's got enough resistance in there for it not to move whilst it's in your pocket um, but it is you know easy to move when you do want to move it at the bottom we have absolute blankness and a gold 510 positive pin so uh, let's have a look down the core there so we'll unscrew the base from the top section there and we'll have a look now this core is two weeks old um, and you can see it's slightly darkened in there I've put an absolute crap ton of e-liquid in there and the flavor is still kicking ass is absolutely kicking ass and I'm more than happy with a flavor on here um, you know I've been running it between 60 and 80 watts an absolute pleasure seriously an absolute pleasure to vape on the flavor the vapor production has not disappointed one iota throughout using the tank at all so let's um, get the other coil out and we'll just look down there. So this is the F1, 0.2 ohms, 80 watts. And as you can see down there is a standard coil down there. It's like a, a dual, yeah, it's like a dual build, parallel, all the way down to the bottom there. Nice wedge of coil. I haven't used this yet. Um, I've been enjoying the bloody mesh coil, so you know there's been no point in me actually using 
this coil. Um, you do obviously get the O-ring in there which goes round there. Remember to make sure that is on there before you put it in, otherwise you would get some leakage. Um, coil back in the top there, and that basically goes round the tank. Um, there's nothing really much to say about it. It is a very good looking tank. You know, you've got the Falcon Horizon Tech on there. You've got Horizon Tech on the coils. It looks very nice. Um, very, very nice indeed. It has been a bit leaky over the past few days. Possibly the coil isn't as tight as it could be. Um, possibly when I'm screwing and screwing it on and off a mod. Would have been nice to see a bit of stuff around the bottom here as well, but unfortunately there isn't. So what we're going to do now is screw this onto a mod. So we've got it on the Councillor Vapor range, which has been my everyday mod um, for a good few weeks now. And I absolutely love it. I think it looks an absolute treat on top of here. Um, so it's reading the coil on there currently at 0.18 ohms. Nothing to complain about there. Um, yeah, absolutely fine. So what we're going to do is take this up to FaceTime, take it for a two and give our overall thoughts and opinions on it. Right, so we are back with the Horizon Tech Falcon Tank on top of the Council of Vapor Wraith. Inside that we have got some Hip Hop Juice Mafia. So this was supplied by the lovely people at Hip Hop Juice as well. And Mafia is kind of like a black currant tropical. I'm getting like a black currant and mango-y vibe going on in here. Um, very, very nice. It's one of my favourite from the range that they sent me. So a massive thanks to them. Uh, go over to their website for more information on their flavours. So I've got this at 66 watts, which is below the minimum threshold, I do believe. I think it's 70 watts. Uh, yeah, 70 watts plus or minus 10. So it's kind of below but kind of above um 70 watts is optimum 66 watts let's go airflow fully open let's take it for a two cloud production bloody good flavor production still blooming amazing um I, i'm sure i've had this in two weeks possibly more than two weeks and it is still going like an absolute charm. I wish I could have counted the actual puffs that I've taken on this tank just so I know how much e-liquid I've done or whatever, how many puffs I've taken with this coal and it's still going absolutely strong. Now, you know, I must go through a minimum of 20 mil, 20 to 30 mil of e-liquid a day. So it's going strong. It's going pretty damn strong. So let's take it for another two. Just lovely, absolutely lovely. Um, and it just brings out the niceness in all the flavors. If you're a cool lighter or a menthol lover, it brings out that freshness so much, um, it's great. The fruits like just seem to pop that little bit more. The custard seem to be a little bit more custardy, a little bit denser, a little bit more creamier. Um, it just seems to make all the e-liquids taste how they should. Now it isn't exactly dripper-like flavor. It's no way, shape or form dripper-like flavor, but it is bloody good flavor from a stock coil sub -ohm tank. I can tell you that. I can bloody tell you that now. So what do I think overall to the uh, Horizon Tech Falcon tank? Now we're gonna go what I think of it and then we're gonna go through the price as well and whether it's worth that price. Flavor absolutely bang on cloud production is bloody good this is the m1 coil the m1 coil that i've been testing this on the the f1 i'm not going to use i'm just going to get some more m1s um and keep vaping on this now the airflow is spot on as well it's nice to change it up and down half airflow let's go slightly noisy but what do you expect from a sub ohm tank you know you can crank it up to was it 70 plus or minus 10 80 watts let's go good flavor again good flavor i'd recommend vaping that with the airflow fully open at 80 watts but you are going to drink that juice drip tip does get you know where you get like the hot vapor it does get slightly warm up here at 80 watts though so i would look out for that make sure your lips are out and not you know going into the drip tip area there flavor good airflow good it looks good it's simple you know it's not all fancy and crowns and crap like that on it it is very very simple very simple to fill up very simple to change the coil adjust the airflow etc no complaints at all bar one bar one i've had a slight bit of seepage over the past 
three or four days from the bottom of the coil. Now I haven't bothered to see you know what is doing this. I think it's the o-ring in the bottom of the coil. Where I've been unscrewing this and screwing this up, I think it's dislodged the o-ring. But it's you know the slightest bit of seepage. Nothing at all to worry about. Just dripping out the airflow. Mop it up and it's done. Um, it might be where I'm walking and you know slinging it about a bit. But other than that, no complaints whatsoever. The flavour is bang on. Everything is just bang on for me. Absolutely love it. And you can change the drip tip if you do like a smaller drip tip. Now we'll go into price. <coughs> Excuse me. £25.99 currently on the Hip Hop Juice website, which is absolutely spot on. Absolutely spot on. Now they are expecting these 7th of May. I'm recording this on the 8th of May, so you know they were expecting it bank holiday, so it should be this week. And they do aim to deliver between five and ten days. It is on pre-order at the moment. So um do go on to the Hip Hop Juice social media for more information. Do get in contact with them, they will get in contact you with you as soon as possible. So overall, an absolutely cracking tank is a pleasure to be vaping it, you know. I have had a lot of messages of people ask me, review the Falcon Tank, review the Falcon Tank, because I love the Cleto so much and the um, that other mesh thingy, um, it was down here, it's gone now, um, the other mesh tank, um, the Vapeston Mesh Tank Nano, um, it's great to review another mesh tank and Hip Hop Juice were kind enough to get in contact and said, yeah, we'll send you over that, review it, whack some of our juice in there as well, which I have, um, yeah, I've been vaping on this quite a while i've gone through nearly half the bottle of this which is cool nice brilliant so i'd like to thank the lovely people at hip hop juice for sending this through for the purpose of review i'll whack links in the description for more information i've been the devil vapor and you've been watching Del vapors vape reviews <laughs>